So you want to learn coding using HTML? Well, go open your notepad for me, boys, because we're getting into it. Notepad is open. Okay, first thing you'll want to type is HTML. But in one of, but in the bracket things, I don't, I'm not sure what you call those. Yes, just, let's just look at that. Yes, yeah, see, now that's beautiful. Then, under it, just go like that, and in front of the HTML, make a slash. Okay, so just remember slash always closes off everything. So if there's a slash in front of it, it probably is closed because it's finished. Now do the same thing, but this time inside put a head because it's head and body. Now slash head, and there you have your head. Okay, now okay, underneath that put yourself a nice little body. Before we go on, just for in case you are new at this, okay, so let's explain a few things. HTML opens the page basically, it is the page, that's why everything goes into the HTML. It is like your header and all of that, and body is what's inside, like paragraphs and stuff like that. Okay, and HTML is just something, you, it's, like in, it's like a web page if you want to call it that. Now, inside it, make title. Title is like your tabs title like if you see in google, google chrome or wherever you're googling on you have a tab and on the tab you see there it says subscribe that is the title okay now that should be inside here so it knows where exactly it should be or i think it should be inside here. it should it probably should just let's just stay with that rule can any of you type whatever you want the title to be it can be anything you want literally okay now let's just type now back to explaining HTML is just like a, a web page basically so it's uh, it's like if you want to create a blog or something you can use HTML and it will on the end of the day like just give you whatever you want so just just stay with that you can basically code HTML with HTML anywhere as long as it has like as long as you can type in it and save it then you can basically do it anywhere now let's make another head this head is actually like the header of the whole thing like underneath tab you will see another like topic and yeah let's just go on okay now you have six type of h's all of them represents a size of text h1 is the biggest h6 is the smallest now I'm going to use H3 because it has a nice size to it. So I'm just going to like type my head, my topic in it, and and let's just go on with it. Okay, now let's start with P. P stands for paragraph. So if you want to like make a new paragraph, you just go P with that ends of another p it's the same as body head and html now inside between like between p you like write whatever you want you can only need one body you can use use as many p's as you want inside that body that doesn't matter as long as you have a body you can use p i think can you can use it in your head as well but i'm not sure i never tested it but i think you can okay now let's just go on Okay, now we're going to write a paragraph in bold. To write in bold, just need a B. It's really easy, just B. Okay, now we're going to do the deleted text one. That's the one where it's like a line through the text, for in case you didn't know. So all you need to do is just say delete or tell between those thingies and then it's basically there it's really really easy um oh yeah don't don't forget to uh, close off your d and b just not gonna fix that okay okay i'm just gonna leave that p there for a moment i'll show you how to do a comment now 
this is really easy everything in html is really easy against like delphi java all of those this is really easy guys so if, if you're struggling with anything try this because you will probably not struggle if you just like remember the tags okay now about comments comments can only be seen like inside on the little, like notepad itself it can't be seen on the page because uh, no, because comments are only there to like assist you when you like read through things maybe want to remember something and it, it that's all that's actually there for it's just like a little note on the side nobody can see it except for a person like reading this not, not if they go to the page but if they read this then they can see it okay now the next important part is to like save your html so just go to save or save as and then just like go anywhere where you want to save it maybe make a new folder specifically for html it's all up to you and you can also save it as text if you still like want to use it in the notepad or if you just want to go directly to the internet when opening it you can go .html now .html doesn't need internet to open it only needs it you can do it offline I don't know how to upload it online or anything but I know you can like use it offline if you want to like I don't have any internet right now and boom here is what we just did you see and you can also not see the comments because that can only be read on the on the page now now guys enjoy creating your own pages or whatever you want and goodbye guys see you in the next video to tea.